And here's the add-on board. It's designed to go on the back of the module like this, but for my slim build, it's too tall. So my last build, I cut it in half. I put one half on this side and the other half on this side. It's not gonna work this time though because I have some plans I'm gonna try out for those spaces. So I need a new space. And I think I found one that's gonna work behind the screen. So I can take this half of the board, cut it right along here. And then if I make another cut here and down the white line, gives me an L shape that should fit right around here. Something like that. So after I cut this down, I'm gonna have to reconnect a few things. The back needs to be reconnected and these three traces. Uh, this switch, we can just lose it. It's functionally the same as this switch. And to do that, I'm just gonna use a blade. I'm gonna lightly scratch off the coating of the traces and just solder to them. I'm gonna end up using some magnet wire and more likely than not some captain tape or something. I always end up using it. It's great um, with heat, it's a good insulator and it's really thin. Another thing is, I think I'm gonna use a Dremel tool to cut this down and, and shape it. Uh, so that's gonna put off a lot of uh, dust. So I have uh, ventilation and stuff set up for that. I'm gonna wear a mask. So just something to be careful with.
Well, that's about it for the add-on board for now. So for reconnecting these two parts, we needed to wire up the back to the back. And the three traces that needed to be reconnected actually run from 42. So if you follow the trace all the way down, it goes from 42 on over to this switch pad here. So I wired that to 42. The second trace goes from here on over to itself here. And then the three volts trace is connected to these two pads. So I just grabbed it from here and connect it to there. I found out when I wired these all up completely as it would have been on the back, that I had some trouble with the USB port not working for some reason, I don't know why. So I disconnected all the USB stuff and only used the ground and five volts from here because that's all we really need anyway. And now everything's fine. And also on this side, I connected all of these except for 40. I think that'll do it. Use a little bit of Captain Tape to clean it up. So that should work.